Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you, coming at you on the Friday here. I'm getting towards the end of the month, half years, 26th of June. Very, very, very quiet overnight. Um, very, very incredibly frustrating uh, week. I feel like I'm at, feels like one of those weeks where I'm at Le Bernardin and I'm sitting down ready for an amazing meal uh, and the pomerol comes to the table and it's gasoline and the seared tuna arrives and instead I'm served a shit sandwich the old Le Bernardin sh shit sandwich uh, it's been that kind of week Aussie ball kick cad yen yesterday idiotic dollars are what the fuck um, amazing tried to be long gold botch uh, just uh, one sad song after another the damage uh, on the ledger isn't isn't great but the frustration is 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 high so we're gonna name this uh, week shit sandwich that said rather than whinge and whine like a little little baby girl let's move on cad yen charts in front of me again saw yesterday down to 34 and a half allegedly um we sold 35s uh we were filled at 35s on what i thought was an atrocious fill but such is life uh, we scampered out of those, I think, at the correct time um, for a small loss. But the chart now looks, of course, like these charts always do. When you get filled at the exact low, they look a little better the next day. And then the next day, it looks even better. And So we will be watching this uh, 35 area in CAD Yen. Um, as you can see, the volatility last night was close to zero. 0.6 you can see here on the right hand side the percent change is super tiny um, Kiwi it's up 25 basis points um, but overall very very quiet night so I'm not like looking for some prolific trading day today uh, it's more likely going to be uh, some douchebaggery summer trading. Uh, that's what we expect. Yes, up a cool 70, uh, 72 handles from the low. Um, if they change the vocal rule, it'll be good for the business in general. That's all I can say on that. Um, the more risk takers there are out in the market, the better it is for all of us. The market will be a little bit deeper. Um, and it'll just be good for the industry. So that that was interesting and kind of nice. Um, is it worth 2% on, on the S&P E-minis? Not sure, but that's what we got. Uh, there we are. Euro printed all the way down to 111.90. Insane. Um, amazing. Uh, then back up to uh, 30. Back down to 08. Here we are at uh, 23. Couple of red bars. This 111.70 where the strong hands were uh, is an interesting level. Through that, and there's going to be a cascade of stops, I would imagine. Um, a lot of people have talked about this level and are expecting big bids there. And if they're not there, there's going to be trouble. Uh, so keep an eye on 111.70. Cable, no idea. Dollar Swiss has done absolutely nothing all week. I think we opened at 94, <clears throat> 94 or something. I mean, uh, ridiculously stupid. Dollar Yen, <laughs> 
Chain up to 45 yesterday. Makes no sense. Um, down at 08. Totally meaningless point in the range. Euro yen, we, we do expect uh, some risk now below 119.90. People will have moved their stops up, I think. We talked about it on Wednesday. Down through 119.90. Um, and then the what we call now stale risk below 119.30 is going to get pinged. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind if we do have some sort of build out, maybe some negative Euro news today. Uh, I don't know where that's going to come from, but could do. Check this chart out, dollar rand. We kind of nailed the open yesterday. We were down at 42. We said it's going to trade up through 50. It did. Um, and so we were looking all right, you know, sort of 10 big figures in the money. But then the vicious, vicious turn. Bang, bang, bang. Four hour, four hour, four hour. Uh, 40 big figures. Bearish engulfing. Uh, jokes on me, right? We were making jokes yesterday about who who's going to buy junkie South Africa. Um, somebody sure bought a lot of it yesterday. That's a bearish bearish bar. Uh, we would we would not recommend buying dips today, or look to buy dips. Usually, there's going to be some follow through after a bar like that. Um, you know, kind of reminds me of this bar here from April, the 6th of April. Made the new high, bang, big move lower. One, two, three, four, five in a row after that. Uh, so, dollars are looks like it's set to go lower. God knows why. Aussie not doing much, middle of the range. Um, Cad Yen, we talked about. Kiwi. These are now interesting lows, but we're getting further and further away. It's percent away from 63.80, so not much to do there. Gold futures, two red bars, some gaps, some skull duggery. Gold, below me. Um, finally, crude. 39.21. Huh? Two bucks higher. Um, the death knock on this trend line is way, way up at 40.80. Nothing to do here. Surely you're not still short. Um, if you are, you can't really do that, right? You can't really let this go 5% against you. Um, Crude's now in the middle of nowhere. No real good guess on what's going to happen next there. Let's take a look at the calendar. I don't think there's much out today, which is another reason why we think it's going to be a summer, summer, summery type feel to the market today. Um, Friday. Personal income in the U.S. Bank of England quarterly bulletin. That's actually mildly interesting. Uh, but what are you going to do with that? Euro sterling has just been hysterical. Let's look at that. My God, what the hell is wrong with this thing? Through 20 looked, looked pretty good for like five seconds yesterday. Bang, through 20. Oh no, this is our... Uh, Bang, through 20, down to the figure. But then back to 50, huh? What? I don't know. This is, this, Euro Sterling is kind of emblematic of the sinister sort of nothing, nothing shit sandwich this week's been. Things look like they're moving and then they come right back. Everything mean reversion to that this week massively or outright just wrong like dollars are was just wrong I mean we were long at a great average but it's now 30 big figures lower so that one just is just wrong 
Um, but anyway, tricky trading here, uh, both sides, Euro Sterling. We do have this BOE quarterly um, bulletin, could be interesting. Otherwise, nothing else. We have core PCE out of the US, personal spending, personal income, nobody cares. So we'll be watching the stock market, be watching the news flow. Um, watching crude oil the usual suspects to see if we can get a feel for how the day feels but for now uh, we're not going to be doing too much uh, expecting a summary market with that I will uh, wish you all a good day ahead and uh, a good weekend I'm going to be taking some time off next week got some things to take care of um, so you won't be hearing me over the 4th of July, um, usually it's a quiet time anyway, we'll see, I got some family stuff I need to do, um, so I'll be back when I'm back, who knows, um, week 10 days, actually might be more, but um, you'll be on your own, good luck with that, I'll see you when I see you, ciao.